because I'm the shortest person in the world. What have you done? You broke it, Ben. No. Oh, there's sticky tape in there. Yeah, I didn't do that. Ooh, it's okay. Mari, was that you? Thanks, Mari. Anyway, that's fine. Leave it alone. I'll actually, you know what? I might do something different tonight. Let's just not use the stand. Uh, sorry, everyone. My name is Kim. Um, and even though I'm short, I'm not from Asia. Uh, a little story about my future. Uh, I'm a bit of a rags to middle class kind of girl. Um, I come from a long line of inbred alcoholics. I just found out that my cousin's actually my sister and my brother, he's my daddy. Um, <laughs> my mum, she's uh, one of 13 inbred siblings and uh, those 13 actually went on to have another 10 kids and that breeding process has been going over the last 40 years and now there's enough to populate Geelong which is uh, probably why they've de 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 sorry which is probably why they've declared it its own city um, I got my census survey back and um, it turns out that one in five Melburnians I'm actually related to <laughs> um, and I find it really hard to pick up guys these days because I'm a little worried that I might get drunk and wake up next to my cousin. Uh, speaking of inbred, I've got a couple of kids. And um, yes, yes, I do. <laughs> um, and the master L, he's 17, and the little deputy dog, she just clicked over 15. Um, and they have about as much love for each other as North and South Korea. Uh, there's a lot of F-bombs being launched at my house. And do we need to wait? Got a woohoo coming? No? Okay. Uh, sorry, the deputy dog, she's just clicked over 15. We're waiting. Yay! Can I have one of those, please? Thank you. No, I'm only joking. I'll get it off you later. <laughs> Do you want me to start again? Because you missed out on the whole thing. Anyway. Oh, dear. She broke the glass. No, it's all good. Okay. That no <laughs> good one, Murray. <laughs> it's actually my cousin, sister. <laughs> Um, sorry. Okay, so I have a 15-year-old kid as well, um, and they are a little bit like North. You guys are missing out in the front there. Sorry. They're, they're, it's, in my house, it's a little bit like North and South Korea with my kids, um, and uh, there's always been an F-bomb being launched, and the conversations usually consist of, fuck you, asshole, or get fucked, you little cockhead. Or, fuck you, motherfucker. And 15 years later, I don't know whether I love or hate them. I'm only joking. I know I hate them. <laughs> if I've learned anything about parenting kids these days, it's uh, you pick your battles or your bottle. Um, and the only way you can discipline kids is with guilt, which is a really good emotion to teach them. Um, <laughs> which is, it's a good emotion to teach them, actually. Um, it's only because you can't beat kids anymore these days, thanks to fucking laws. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I've had a fairly shit year this year. I, um, and there's still three months to go, and I'm waiting for my STD results to come back. <laughs> Actually, no. I got divorced and my tits started sagging. I live with teenagers um, and I'm now doing stand-up comedy. So... <laughs> I'm hoping it's going to get better. <laughs> Uh, actually, you know what? The real reason I'm doing stand-up comedy is because I went and saw a psychic and his name's Craig and it's a true story. Craig said to me, you're actually not as funny as you think you are and I can't wait to see him now. <laughs> um, and so, actually, no, I can't wait to see him and I also want to find out if he's able to predict what STD I've contracted. 
um, and which cousin's going to be my husband. And just before I go, uh, I just I just want to let you know that I've got a bet going with my cousin slash sister, and the bet is um, I bet her that her daughter would fall pregnant before mine. Um, but the only problem is we're not too sure which cousin's going to be the father. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You guys have been awesome. Thank <laughs> you.